Hello Aries, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment as reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Aries? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Aries, please and thank you. Okay, eight of cups. Okay, so you guys feel like you need to hold back from a certain situation. Some of y'all are in the process of walking away from uh, something that you feel like no longer serves you here. Some of y'all are walking away because someone has been holding back. So you're finally turning your back on this. Even though I'm getting this like spiritually and intuitively, you are definitely picking up um, on this person's feelings like you know that they're interested in you you know they have a lot of love for you but it's just not enough for this person to like act on the way they feel is what i'm getting or at least the way you're perceiving the situation that's how it is let's see what's going on here okay so this person is wondering about you they want uh to give you an apology as well but they're definitely quite possibly they've been looking for you some of y'all may not be on social media or they don't have a way of getting in contact with you. What is this person's intentions towards Aries? What are their intentions towards Aries? I have two. For one, they're very attracted to, uh, towards you. The magician is always a good sign to me that someone has good intentions towards you and they intend on treating you right here. This, I definitely am getting like quite possibly this person felt like in the past, they allowed the opportunity to be with you, pass them by, but they're now in this mind frame of they're not going to allow the opportunity to pass them by. They're like, as soon as the opportunity presents itself, they're going to seize the moment. Yes, because they definitely see themselves living there happily ever after with you here. All right. Let's see. Let me pull from the other deck. Receive material world some of y'all are about to receive an increase in your finances for one the other thing that i'm getting when it comes to this relationship is that this time when this person comes back around to you they're going to be more giving they're going to want to spoil you with some gifts and some uh, surprises here the magician is also that energy of like someone constantly surprising you with what all they can do or what all they're doing for you here so I definitely am getting for one, yes, some of you guys can expect to receive an increase in your finances just from working hard towards something here. And then when this person comes back and come comes back around, you can expect them to be more generous towards you. Let's see what's going on. Separation. This person feels like you are completely or you have completely separated yourself from them. Quite possibly, they don't even feel like the energetic connection between two of you, karmic partner. Oh, no. Some of y'all may have been dealing with someone who was stuck in a cycle with a karmic partner here. And they're finally separating themselves from this person. Let me get a little bit more. Some of y'all said it doesn't even have to be like a romantic uh, person. It could be family or friends as well. Or it could have been just like a, a karmic relationship with a material possession that they had. Or not even material possession. Like they could have had an issue with drinking. This is a karmic relationship is any sort of like lesson that you're meant to learn from. A, I mean, we learn lessons from everything. But it's not necessarily the best experience. It's, an, it's a challenging experience and it teaches you a hard lesson. If you learn the lesson, then you can finally break free from the cycle you've been repeating. Let me get one more. Yeah, crossroads and pause. Right now, this person is trying to think things through. Not even just about this connection with you, but just their life in general. There are things that they're trying to piece together right now. Some of you guys, this person definitely was in a romantic uh, relationship with someone else or was kind of going back and forth with someone else as well. And quite possibly, it's like when you, when you came into this person's life, they weren't really able to receive this connection because 
they were still in process of like ridding themselves of a previous relationship. Sun. Some of y'all says summer. This situation. Oh yeah. Grounding as well. Yes, yeah, spring into action. Yeah. Some of you guys, I definitely am getting like some of y'all before this summer is over. Some of y'all um around spring, going into spring or by the time the summer is ending, like you will feel more grounded for one. Um I'm not necessarily some of y'all may hear from this person, but I'm not necessarily getting that just yet. I am getting like the sense of you feeling more grounded in your energy, feeling more stable in life. Self-interest in the moon. This person is keeping something hidden here. What is this? What are they keeping hidden? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Oh, so they've been thinking about you. I want to dive a little deeper and see where, what this person's actions is going to be. Because the thing is, it's like with Fox self-interest, the seed trap, I really am getting like this person just wearing a mask. They're definitely looking out for themselves. They're trying to protect their heart. Because what's beneath the surface is this person feeling like there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. They view you as someone who's exceptional as well. You're not like anyone else that they've ever met. You have this spark about you. What actions uh, will this person take towards Aries? What actions will this person take towards Aries? Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I'm, uh, Aries, I'm getting that this person is continuing to play games. And the reason why is because of fear. They have anxiety circulating this relationship. It's like their thoughts about this relationship is, they have a lot of fears when it comes to this relationship. I'm just getting that they're trying, uh, trying to protect their heart. What's the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? What's the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? The Queen of Swords. Okay, you can expect to receive some unexpected communication from this person. It's like right now there's nothing happening. And then it's like all of a sudden you just feel bombarded by all of these messages or this communication. I definitely am getting that you're going to make your boundaries very clear with this person. You're going to set in place some firm boundaries with this person. But I definitely am getting this. You'll hear them out. But you're also protecting your heart as well. What is the advice for Aries? What is the advice for Aries? The chariot and the devil. You know, some of you guys are on your way to obtaining like something big here when it comes to material possessions here because it keeps wanting to come out and they're telling you to continue to focus on that some of y'all may be a little obsessed with something that you're uh headed towards that you're working towards here um but they're wanting you to continue to focus on this but be mindful that you're just you're not consumed by it because there can be an unhealthy attachment to something here so, but it's good for you to remain focused on something that you're wanting to achieve. Make sure it's a healthy attachment that you're not becoming too obsessed with something here. Let's see. Any messages regarding career for Aries? Messages for career? Okay. Something is going to come to an end in order for you to accomplish a major goal of yours. When something comes to an end or so things can come back into balance, it's, it's allowing you to create something that you truly desire to have. So they're wanting you to keep that in mind. Some of y'all may become a little pessimistic when this takes place, but this is just to push you towards a major goal of yours that you're wanting to achieve. Either it's allowing you to free up some time here in order for you to focus more on something that you actually desire to have in life. Um, 
by that plan of getting something is going to have to come to an end in order for this transformation to take place. But it's pushing you towards success here. Let's see. Any final uh, messages for Aries? Final messages? What else does Aries need to hear at this time? Any final messages for Aries? The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Um, there is definitely something that you're invested in, Aries, and it's definitely going to pay off for you. Um, it may take some time. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy, but it's the most promising energy. It promises you stability. It promises you something that's going to last. So continue to be patient with something here because it's definitely going to pay off for you. Your hard work will not be in vain. I am going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.